Hi and welcome to Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Surveyor 245 BHS, a very nice uh, family unit. We're going to go ahead and get started up front today. This does come with your power tongue jack. You do have your extend retract switch here on the front along with your LED light switch here with a light underneath that shines down to where you're actually hooking up. It also has the adjustable foot pad down here at the bottom. Behind the tongue jack you do have a dual 20 pound LP tanks. This comes with your hard case cover with your easy access lid so you can get right into your LP tanks. Right here you'll notice two bars. This is where you would mount your battery and box. If you're doing a lot of dry camping and would like to mount two there is room for two there. And then we'll back up to show you the front cap. This is a pre-molded uh, gel coated fiberglass cap. It does come with your windshield in here with the shade on the inside along with your diamond uh, plate rock guard here at the bottom. Uh, this does come with your pre uh, <laughs> pet friendly package. You do have the pet leash latch down here on your A-frame. And then inside your front storage compartment they do have your pet bowls in a cargo netting there on the side for you. This does have your deep uh, very uh, taller than average storage compartment here in the front. It is a pass-through storage, so a lot of nice storage there in the front. You'll also see it does have the magnetic catches for your compartment doors at the top. Talked about uh, dry camping. It does have a, a portable solar panel port right here, so if you'd like to buy a portable solar panel and connect to this port, it will uh, maintain your batteries on the front. This does have your manual stabilizer jacks at the four corners and we're going to move on back here a little bit. You can see this does have your enclosed underbelly and you can also see the spare tire carrier is underneath there because we have the travel rack uh, slash bike rack on the back. And that's on a telescoping uh, rack so if you look at uh, pictures on our website I do have that pulled out so you can see how that works. At your entry step, you have what they call the stable step by Moride. This is a very sturdy step. You have an adjustment on each side so you can adjust it to the contour of the ground. And very easy to set up and take down. You basically open your entry door. And by the way, this is what they call a friction hinge door. So you have a friction hinge versus the latches like we've had in the past that you forget to unlatch or get brittle and break over time. Open your entry door. You lift it up. And you have a latch on the left hand side right here that latches into your door frame and then you would close your entry door flip your grab handle over the door and you're ready to go so it cleans it up very easy to set up and take down you also have a light right here for the steps you have your power awning uh, with your LED strip light in the tube of the awning and this also has an adjustment right here on each end so you can adjust the pitch of the awning. Uh, that way if it rains it can run off of one end or the other and it does not pool up on your awning. Outside entertainment center you have your speakers on each side of your amber porch light. You have your TV bracket right here which is compatible to the one on the inside so if you like to take the TV from the inside snap it on out here you can do that and then you have your connections down below. You do have your aluminum rims along with your radial tires. Um, you can pop off the center cap of your hub cap. This is an easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes. Outside kitchen, you have your kitchen sink right here. Um, this is uh, pushes in. So you can close it up and then you can pull it out. To use this does have an 8500 BTU grill for you right here this is all stainless steel and then you also have your outside mini refrigerator here on the right hand side as well we'll move around to the back this uh, does come with your roof ladder as well so you notice uh, as we go around there are a lot of extra options that a lot of people do not get so this one is loaded it uh, does have your roof ladder, does have your bike slash utility rack. Uh, by removing a pin on each side right here, you can lower this down. And then you can use it as a travel rack. And uh, you can also flip these up 
for your bike carrier as well. And these are V slatted right here for your bike tires to fit in. Have your water heater. This is a six gallon gas electric water heater. Uh, this is a DSI, so it's a direct spark ignition. You can heat up to 10 gallons of water with uh, gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you look down here in the lower left hand corner, there's an on and off switch. That's electric side of the water heater. Then I'll show you the gas switch when we move to the inside. Always remember to have water in the water heater before you turn on the electric side so you do not burn up the heating element. You'll also notice, I'll just leave that down, up at the top underneath the clearance lights, uh, there is an additional bracket there. That is for a backup camera. So it is prepped and ready for that if you'd like to add that as an option. You have your 4x4 inch tube bumper here on the back. You do have a cap on either end and that is where you would store your sewer hose. 30 amp connection right here. It does come with a detachable cord so you do not have a cord that you're pulling out and pushing back in, taken away from storage on the inside. So that is a nice feature there. You have your outside shower with your hot and cold. And then you have your black tank flush. Your black tank flush is after you dump your black tank, which would be your toilet. Uh, there is a sprayer on the back side of the tank that would rinse that out after you dump. And then you have your city water connection. This is where you connect your water hose at a campsite. And it is cable and satellite ready as well. As we move down underneath here, you'll notice there's a gray handle here. This is your dump station. Then you'll have a black handle over here. Your black handle is your black tank, which is your toilet. Gray handle is your gray tank, which is your kitchen sink and your shower. And that all dumps out of this one port. Uh, before we move on up in front of the slide out, I do want to point out this does come with your slide topper already installed for you. So like I mentioned, it does have your extra options that you're looking for. And then up in front of the slide out, there's not a whole lot up here. We have your gravity fill. This is if you dry camp. You can fill your freshwater holding tank through this port here. Turn on your water pump switch on the inside. And then this would be your pass-through storage from the opposing side. And I believe that concludes the outside of the Surveyor 245 BHS. And now we'll move to the inside. The bedroom is directly to the right. You do have your entertainment center on the dividing wall. In the slide out is your booth style dinette. And in the back is your bathroom, your bunks, and then the kitchen is right here to the left. We're going to start right inside your entry door on the overhead cabinet of your kitchen. This is your control panel, so your interior, exterior light switches, your awning and slide out switch would be there as well. Uh, your glass inserted overhead cabinet doors, your microwave would be in the overhead cabinet, and then we have a glass drop-in cooktop along with your oven. And this here gives you more countertop space if you're not using your stove. This has a bifold cover that folds back and also serves as a splash guard and that is a three burner stove top. It does come with your oven. And you'll notice a light switch on the right hand side it has a blue LED light around each knob. Base cabinet has a nice storage area. You have a cabinet door, a bank of three drawers. And again, uh, giving you more countertop space if you're not using the kitchen sink is a sink cover. This is a stainless steel single bowl sink along with your high rise pull out kitchen faucet. We do have your refrigerator. Um, this is an eight cubic foot refrigerator. It has your separate freezer compartment and it is gas and electric and it is automatic so if you have a power outage and you have your LP bottles turned on it will automatically kick over to gas and continue to run. Your bunks in the back you have uh, a large double bunk over double bunk here and you have cargo netting down at the bottom for extra storage and then we have a pantry here beside your bathroom door um, pantry slash wardrobe 
It does have uh, adjustable shelving in there along with a wardrobe rod so you do have uh, a couple options there then you have a bank of two drawers underneath that right beside that is your thermostat this is a touch screen thermostat this is what operates your furnace and your air conditioner moving on into the bathroom we have your toilet that gives you the leg room you're looking for we have your tub shower uh, combo here does have a skylight and then your create a breeze fan we also have your lavatory here along with some storage and a medicine cabinet I'm gonna step in here for a little bit so you can see the medicine cabinet and then I also want to uh, touch on your monitor panel this is your monitor panel where you check your levels of your gray black and freshwater tanks your battery level um, and then like I mentioned on the outside your water heater the gas side of your water heater would be the switch on the left and then your water pump if you dry camp would be on the right the dinette if you look at the pictures on our website the table is on a base that does collapse down you can slide the cushions together to give you additional sleeping room if needed and you do have a drawer on um, roller glides here so giving you a lot of nice storage underneath each dinette seat and you do have overhead cabinets above the dinette there are LED lights inside you'll notice there's an on and off switch right here to turn off the lights inside your overhead cabinets and also one thing I want to point out that surveyor does is on all your overhead cabinets they already add your uh, struts to hold your cabinet doors open which is very nice moving on up to the entertainment center it does come with your fireplace also at the bottom is just the cavity to kick off your sandals as you come inside You'll notice the sound bar under the TV. This is your uh, stereo uh, sound bar. This does have four zones. So you have your speakers in the bedroom, uh, the living area, the sound bar, and outside. And you have your TV. And then overhead cabinets above that. In the bedroom, you have your wardrobe along with overhead cabinets on each side of the bed. This is a queen bed standard 60 by 80 and here again uh, storage underneath the bed and this also is on gas struts to hold that up for you a lot of nice storage there as well um, on each side of the bed uh, down below here you might not be able to see but there is a receptacle down here for you plug in your phones and charge you do have a drawer underneath each wardrobe and behind each wardrobe is an extra cavity it does have a shelf and a nightstand with a cup holder and that also you'll notice the little hole there in the back you can lift that up for extra storage underneath that and then at your windshield in the front does come with your shade at the foot of the bed is also a TV backer in the wall so if you'd like to add a TV at the foot of the bed you have your connections above that in the ceiling and you can also see your air conditioner is vented throughout so it is a ducted AC I believe that concludes the inside of the 245 uh, surveyor uh, 245 BHS do one more brief walkthrough for you here. Again, we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.